Hey everyone, it's me, a dramatic Sim. Welcome back to my channel for another speed build renovations of our Strange Town Season 2 people. Oh my god, so exciting. Um, this took forever for me to do. I'm so, so sorry. It's been over a month. Um, we've been streaming uh, once in a while. I've also not been very well with that as well. I don't know about you guys, but I was just trying to... <laughs> just trying. I'm trying to enjoy this summer. Um... I feel like there's going to be a second wave of the dreaded C-19 um, and that I want to spend time with people and outside. Um, it's already spooky season and so I'm like, hello, we really have to get into the Strange Town stuff because it's spooky season. So that's exciting. And yeah, so this is our first time <laughs> where I recorded this live streaming. I think the quality came out okay. I'm not okay with how all over the place I was when I'm just recording and filming um, a speed reno. I'm a lot more focused and a lot more um, progressive, I guess I would say. Like I, I do kind of jump around, but this I, I literally also didn't know what I was doing. This was one of the hardest renovations I think I've ever done in my Sims career or my YouTube career. It was intense. I had a slight vision, but... I said this on stream a lot, so if you watch stream, and if you come to my streams, honestly, you, I still, I love the support and I appreciate it so much. And if you are, haven't been able to make my streams or um, anything, that is totally fine. You do what you gotta do, you know. Like, I also stream randomly, sporadically, and I'm not the best at being consistent or keeping you guys up to date because I'm just that kind of person. Um, but that's why you guys follow me, right? Sure. Um, so this is my first time live streaming a full speed reno and I really wanted to keep the integrity of what this, especially this home is. It is, um, it is the curious lab and everyone it's iconic. And honestly, the, the stairs all the way up to the floor, all, all the way up to the telescope. I did not want to get rid of that. And, um, but I needed to make something a little more realistic in terms of what, like someone living here because we no longer have the three brothers and they're no longer doing experimentations. They're no longer learning. They're no longer testing. It's not a full lab. So I wanted to make it a obviously that it was refurbished from a lab into something a little more homey, especially because we have a child. Liara um, is uh, a child now. She was a teen. A toddler, not a teen. She's going to become a teen <laughs> at some point in the series. Um, and Vidkind is looking to perhaps marry or anything. I had a whole wedding set up and I literally can't remember why. Um, and I keep jumping over to um, them because people were like, you guys were asking questions on like who's in the household. So maybe I'll tell you about that. So this is Vidkind is the only one of the curious brothers who are left here. Um Laszlo and Pascal, I almost called him Paolo. It's not his name is not Paolo. Um Laszlo and Pascal both moved out with their significant others. So Pascal lives with Nervous Subject in the Spectre Mansion and Laszlo married Aaron Singles and they have two children or she's pregnant with her second child. Um and they live in a house just like down the street. Um so Vidkind is the only one in this place right now. He was impregnated in season one. He does get abducted. It's part of the story or part of the setup. So he had Liara as um, quite early. Um, and Vidkind, uh, he's really not been able to find his person. He had one other townie that he had in his house in season one. I think her name was Crystal Vu. And she, they like split up and she moved out and she's now like just like floating in, in the bin. Um, and he quickly moved on to Marsha Fuchs and we invited her and had her move into the house. I don't know why I moved them into the house. I really shouldn't have done that because I, now I don't know what to do with them and now I have to play them and I really don't want to play them. But they're here. So we got Marsha Fuchs. Fuchs? Fuchs? How do you say that name? It's spelled F-U-C-H-S. Fuchs. 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 Oh, no. Is it? It's not Fuchs, is it? <gasps> it's not Fuchs, is it? Oh, no. Um, Let me know. How do you pronounce that name? Um, So they're together. She wants to marry him. He does not. Um, I struggled with this roofing here. It was stupid. And I hate The Sims 2 roofs. Let's just leave it at that. Um... <laughs> So 
Vidkind, though, is very much so not over Cersei Beaker. I don't think he's ever gotten over Cersei Beaker, and that's why he's, like, not been able to, like, find anyone else. And I think that he's really going to move on that in this season. Um, don't want to, like, spoil or say anything, but we're going to see where that comes from because... Or how that turns out because Cersei and Loki already have a very uh, interesting dynamic and there's a lot of drama there in their place too and um, not to say much but like Loki's not being very forthcoming with her and Cersei's feeling a little like he's going rogue so we're gonna have to see how that goes. Um, but to the build, um, I really like how it came out i think that there's areas that i could definitely improve on um one thing i really struggled with was the budget um sims 2 doesn't refund you properly back and see now we're frozen for like time i think i took a break or something. <laughs> oh, the worst. um so yeah sims 2 it doesn't like give you the budget like properly or it doesn't like refund you properly for older floor tiles or wallpaper or things like that so I spent a ton of money on like the new outer walls on the inner walls on the flooring and that ate up a ton of their money so on live stream we all kind of just agreed that we would um just give them extra budget <laughs> and I would give them like that we'll say that like the they got like a government grant or something I don't know but they ended up being pretty much where they left off if not maybe a little bit better but um for a lot of these renovations it was dipping into their household savings and making it like where they had like barely anything at the end of it and that's not realistic especially because we're on season two um and you know what I play story based I don't play based on like how much money they've actually earned and things like that so um I think it'll be fine, um, but I added a whole second floor where we move the master bedroom um, and also give Vidkind a new office so that the downstairs is um, primarily labby things or like the kitchen and living room and things like that. Um, just wanted to kind of separate it and of course give us just a little bit of extra space. Um, they don't do a ton of things and I fenced off the tower up to the telescope because I figured that you really wouldn't want random people being able to go all the way up there it's quite dangerous so safety first um but one thing that we do and I, I don't know what I'm gonna get to it but we remove see I'm, I'm my mouse is going over it I'm gonna remove this center bathroom it was an eyesore and it was just not it was not the tea so we demolish it and <laughs> we move the bathroom I think into Liara's current bedroom and then give her Vidkin's old room and Crystal or sorry not Crystal Marsha still has the other guest room that we're calling it um so that upstairs is for Vidkin and his, he has his office and he has his own bathroom on suite I think I made it but I really liked how this came out um used a lot of like this beautiful flooring this is what ate up a ton of my money you can see the simoleons like eating away um but yeah this is the flooring and it looks so much better this was a suggestion from one of you in chat so i was super super grateful and i was just like i was like i'm putting it freaking everywhere up the tower and that ate uh, like literally all our money we had like what 20k to start and then i got all the way down to three um and once we laid the flooring and once I did that whole second level, I really like was like, okay, I finally see the vision of what we're doing and we're going to go forward with it. So again, I'm really liking how this turned out. It was difficult because there's just all these like nooks and crannies and where do these things go and where can I put the living room and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so moving on with that. Um, yeah how are you guys i feel like i we like there's been a lot going on this year has been messed up to say the least um covid has i can't believe how much it's changed the world um and really the sims is something that i, I think we can all escape into i feel like i've been escaping into it a lot and that's been great for me but i've been playing a lot of my own time because i've just been so exhausted um you guys know that i work full time and that has been um ramping up a lot and there's a lot of pressure and um other things that are just really like 
you need to take care of your mental health. And I think that's really important for anyone, but particularly if you are working or in school and you have to do other things amongst this pandemic, like we're in a, we're like, this is not normal. And I hope that you all take care of your mental health as well, because it is so, so, so important. Um, and yeah, and maybe I will, I'm just going to say it. If you guys want to talk, I'm a wonderful listener. Um, so feel free to send me a message if you're feeling down or you just want someone to talk to if you don't have anyone to talk to and I will freaking listen to you. So please, I'm not just saying that. Please do. Um, you can message me on Twitter. You can message me on my Discord. Um, yeah. Um, and then I think the... The other thing I think I'm getting really excited for is just getting into the gameplay of Strange Town. Um, I'm working on some stories and I have some thoughts and things like that. I'm not going to be renovating every single house. Um, and this one's already like another 20 minutes. Like these are very long, but these are very big lots um, that required a lot of <laughs> a lot of work. Um, so this is one thing that I... I wish the sims 2 had that the sims 4 has is like the gallery because i would honestly i would just pick up like a builder that i know is like really good and is gonna give me like a really nice renovated original house and i would just like throw it in there but in the sims 2 you gotta do it all yourself um because that's how it is and that's fun but it's very time consuming so I'm not going to be renovating every single home. Um, some of them are also new, so I like there's not much to renovate, um, at least right now to start. But I wanted to get at least the first few main homes done. Like, for instance, I feel like I should renovate the Grunt House. But at the same time, I really like it's supposed to be a military base. Like, I feel like I shouldn't um, change that too, too much. Um, we did the Smith household also on this live stream. So, um, that one was done, but I didn't do terribly much. I think I just mostly renovated the main floor, um, like the kitchen and dining room, living room area. And I left like most of the rest of the house the same. So, um, we're going to see how that goes, but let me know. What are you guys most excited for, for strange town? Are you excited to see, um, how do you play your strange town? I'm also curious to know how you guys play your own strange town because it's uh, different for sure. Um, and yeah, I, I just can't believe that we're, we're finally here. It's been how many years since, <laughs> since we've come to strange town and I, I want to get to Veronaville. Um, I think, I think I said this in the, um, the beaker uh speed reno one but um we're gonna do about six episodes for our six rounds for the season um i think six is like a good um a good number and um we'll go from there but um we're adding in a couple new households um adding in a couple bin families uh low-key um, we're adding in the university households as well to our roster and our rounds. So we're going to have a lot of new faces, um, coming into the town, which I think will be good because strange town is actually pretty small. It's a fairly small, uh, town compared to like Pleasant View or even Veronaville. Like I feel like they're fairly big. I miss Veronaville. I'm so excited for Veronaville. I want to play Veronaville so, so bad. Can I do Strange Town and Veronaville at the same time? No, no, I can't. It is not realistic. Um, We're about halfway through this. I'm kind of running out of things to say, so I just feel like I'm going to talk. I love this accent wall that is on the back of this kitchen. Um, I think it's fantastic. Um, The Sims 2 build mode. I feel like I find new things all the time in this because um, I tend to go for... Um, oh, this is the one I, I stayed with because we use that black uh, wall in the office, but this is metal sheets, which I thought was really cool. It's fantastic. Um, why am I in the sound menu? <laughs> this is why I'm like, I, I don't know how I feel about taking the stream recording <laughs> and using it because we are... 
very all over the place and freezing all over the place and I'm just very very annoyed um but we're now into a new day and this is where I came I stopped it um and now we're in another stream day where I'm moving over Liara's bedroom and we're trying to figure out the layout for this living room bathroom section um it was a mission and um I'm unsure how I feel about it. I really, really like the upstairs, like I said, but um, they're not too, too sure. And um, the, the the pointy walls, I just also don't know. But we'll see. Um, it was really hard to like figure out Vidkin's um, also style because he, I feel like he doesn't have much of a style at all. Oh yeah, so see, there's this wall in the office. See, there we go. And I like again, I'm watching this, and I'm like, what was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking? What was I doing? I don't know. Uh, colors, no. Everything, sure. I don't know. Um, hi. How do you guys feel about the journey to Batu? <laughs> I feel like I need to post this soon so I can make this relevant. But um, Sims 4, Journey's a bad too. Surprise. How do we feel about it? I'm of the mixed opinion. I think there's... Um, I can see both sides of why people would be like really pissed off about it. Or um, people who don't know any better just being like, oh, okay, this is fine. When it's not fine. And that's, um, that's the tea, sis. That's the T. I feel like I want to say. Also that I applied for the Sim Sparked challenge, the first one, and I didn't make the top 20. And now I'm feeling kind of dejected to not do the other ones. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just too, I'm just too small um, for them to um, care about what I make, which is fine because I, I don't make my content for anyone other than honestly me. <laughs> But you guys um, keep me going. Look at me in these angles. I was like, ooh, let me take some pictures. I think I took pictures, but I didn't use fraps. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm jumping all over the place now in this voiceover too. What? Oh, God. Um, so, yeah. I um, Sims Spark Challenge. If you're playing The Sims 4, I don't know how much of you play The Sims 4. But um, they're doing Sims Spark Challenges. And they look really cool. And people are making, like, really amazing things. But... Um, Yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about, like, any of it, to be honest. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, like, I know what I, f I know how I feel about it. It's like, I'm just, um, I don't think I'm going to participate anymore. Like, maybe I will for, like, funsies. But the challenges thing, I just, like, never really, like, got into. Because you play The Sims how you want to play The Sims. Like, if I want to make, um, if I want to make a couple who have this certain backstory that's what i'm gonna make and you know if people don't like that that's fine people not everyone's gonna like everything right so just move on but i've been playing a lot of sims 4 lately um i did not get the new packs but i've been playing it more than the sims 2 because honestly i feel like if i'm playing the sims 2 i can't play it for myself i need to play it for content and st or streaming so um, I don't open The Sims 2 if I'm not recording. And then Sims 3, I was into The Sims 3, but I find that it continuously like breaks down or lags or something and then, um, or glitches and then I lose all my progress and then it really, really pisses me off. So I, um, yeah, I was playing like a ton of, um, Pleasant Sims, Pleasant View save. Um, and I got so, so far. We actually like recorded a lot of it or streamed a lot of it. And it was super fun and I was loving everything. And then it started glitching and I started having like all these like random things happening in the world, um, which is just my game. Obviously not the save, but my save, I guess, started corrupting at some point. And um, that was um, that was that. Oh, see, here we're trying to figure out Liara's... Um, interests right now so I could design her room but um I think that was about it um do I change her bed I think I change her bed yeah and I give her new windows and stuff like that because uh she only had the teeny tiny windows it's like no windows for your room but again I'm interested to see all the second generation of uh the town because we have our originals but 
they're almost dying off. Like, we got Jenny Smith. She's about to go. Um, Loki and Cersei, while they're beating, they're trying to beat off immortality, um, but... Oh, my God. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so boring. <laughs> Um, but yeah, people are starting to get old and people are starting to get um, up there in age. And the children that were born at the beginning of season one are teenagers, almost adults. Like, I'm excited to see the mark that they make on the world because it's going to be very interesting. And with that being said, we're about almost done. So I'm going to kind of do my outro uh, and we're going to go into pictures. So if you guys enjoyed this video of random freezing me randomly jumping all over the place not only in content but also in the voiceover uh give this video a fat thumbs up subscribe to my channel for new videos new content i put them out once in a while so just don't expect i'm not gonna spam you so that's good to know um <laughs> but um yeah, it helps me a lot. Turn on notifications so you get an email when I do uh, upload a video because it is not consistent uh, and you'll then get it right away and you'll know, hey, I can watch it. Um, if you'd like this house, I can save it and upload it, though it apparently will corrupt your game. So just do that at your own caution um, because there's people living in here and... Um, yeah, and if you're excited for Strange Town, tell me. See, I took up all these pictures, so that's lame of me. Um, if you're excited for Strange Town and excited for Spooky Season, leave a like and a comment down below, and uh, just tell me all the stuff. So I love you guys so 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 very much. Thank you again for all your love, support, and all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna see you in one of my next videos. Bye, guys. <laughs>